ride with me, if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a dick. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be watching episode 6 and 7 of The Bear. Uh, episode 6 is called Napkins. And I did read the, the little caption or description that they have for the episode. And this was, this basically states that Tina looks for a new opportunity. So um, we basically are going to be possibly seeing Tina leave this episode. Um, or at least explore, you know what's out there for her um and then episode seven is legacy this talks about the restaurant being out of sea foes don't know what that is I, we may have heard that term before and i just can't remember um so they are out of sea foes and sydney gets an opportunity as well and so um i have a feeling that that guy that we met in last episode is going to come back around um because if you remember last episode uh the restaurant was reviewed uh you know I can't remember the dish. It was, I think it was a duck, a duck dish. Um, but they were, they were reviewed and, um, they were supposed to be photographed. And so there was a lot of chaos going on. We also, uh, met two new characters. Um, the first was Computer. He's a, a longtime friend of, of, you know, Carmi and his family. And so basically he came in just to kind of break down uh, the cost. Uh, Carmi has been spending a lot of money on produce for these one-time dishes that he's creating. And so basically Computer was coming in just to talk about where they could potentially cut the cost. And we did see one of his suggestions being, you know, letting Marcus go. Uh, thank God Sugar fought hard for that. Um, and then also we met the other brother of um, facts, and I can't remember his brother's name right now. I can't remember the other two brothers' name, but it was played by John Cena. Uh, he's a great addition to the show. Um, it's almost at the at the at the tip of my tongue, and I can't I can't think of his name, uh, his character's name. But he has also joined the show too. So I don't know how much of him we're gonna see, but like I said, he's a he's a good match uh, for the other two guys, and so. They do a good. They do a good job of playing brothers. Um, so yeah, I think that was it. Oh, Marcus uh, did find inspiration. He um, he found a flower outside of his mom's home, and so I think he's gonna create a dish named either after the flower or his mom. I'm not really sure, um, but he he's found some new inspiration as well. So we'll see. Hopefully, we get to see where that takes him because we haven't really seen much of Marcus' dish, dishes come out of the kitchen. I know there was that one scene where he kind of slammed his donuts down when, you know, when they got into the whole issue with the online ordering. Um, and then we got to see him make desserts uh, when he went to his little training with the with the other guy that Carmi sent him off to in the UK. But other than that, we haven't seen any desserts come out of that kitchen from Marcus. At least I, I have not seen any. And so... Even though we don't want Marcus to leave, I think Computer does bring a good point. Hopefully, now that they kind of introduced the possibility of someone wanting to get rid of Marcus, we'll finally get to see his work. Because right now, we're not seeing anything. And so, and, and they're already spending a lot of money. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Again, this is episode uh, six, and this is titled Napkins. That's what time my damn alarm go off and it pisses me off every morning, even though I know it's coming. Tina! We haven't gotten a Tina episode, so this is going to be a Tina episode.
Does she have a small kid? Or a, a grandchild? I don't know how old Tina is. Oh, that looks so good. And you know it's going to sit in that crock pot and simmer all the way until she's done work. You anxious? <laughs> Never. It's going to be okay. Yeah, I, I okay, know. Okay, so baby. she's I, married I just think and I everything. A little bit when I heard about the rent increase. Baby, it's going to be okay. Okay. And we can't. You know, Louis will have to transfer schools, and he only just started making friends. He'd make new friends. <laughs> Maybe. He's kind of an asshole. Tina. <laughs> okay, so we're getting a reason of, of, you know, behind this, her exploring new opportunities. There's a rent increase, and she got to get her money. She has to keep her family stable, and so I... I completely understand that. That's the one thing I like about this show being set in kind of like today's time. I think it's maybe a year or so off. I'm not really sure. Um, but it's easy to relate to. Oh, she has a second job. No shit. I just feel like his energy is off. Trust me, no one wanted it to come to this, but it's the reality of the current climate. Um, you've all been wonderful stewards of the company, and oh no, parting ways is never easy. But I think you'll find with time. Oh no, poor Tina. That is the worst news to receive. You couldn't tell me this shit before I, I came to work. I mean, she came in, put in a, a good hard day work, and you told myself, oh, we're going to have to let you go. That's enough to make a person snap, for real. Like, that's just to disrupt somebody's life like that. And... I didn't even know she had a second job. I didn't know Tina was married with a kid. Like, I knew none of that. How would it work? Louis, Tina's ready. Get her ass in here. I need to see how old Louis is, because, um, well, he had one of those little squeeze juices, so he can't be too damn old, but. You what? Mm. Can I tell you something? Just don't be honest with him. Don't lie about it. I lost my job. So maybe she's not leaving the bear. Maybe she's just looking for another second job. What happened? Or maybe a job better enough to where she only that. needs just one. I don't think nobody likes waking up and working more than one job. I'm gonna find another job tomorrow. Everything will be okay. Because Tina has come a long way because I did not like Tina at the very beginning. She was not my favorite. I was like, I'll be okay if I don't see you again, but she is growing on me. Looking for a job is Louis a job within itself. Oh, baby, what version of word is it? Like 2008, huh? Ooh, that used to be so irritating. Having to go to Office Depot. Oh, do you got to pay extra because you wanted a resume paper? Like, uh, Can I leave my now, resume? Now, you put money um, in the front. You just, just apply on LinkedIn. Selling. It'll be easier. Yeah, everything is electronic. 
Electronic now. No limit to how much you can earn. It all depends on you and how hard you're willing to work. Full disclosure, I made $100,000. But that's your commitment to yourself. And it's a promise that you're going to give this job everything you got. Hey, dude, I'm looking for money. You think I got money to invest in something? Like, really? More work, maybe. Finding a job is hell. Oh, nah. Yeah. Just, just leave. Can I help you with anything? Uh, no, just if you're hiring. Oh, we're not, no. unfortunately. But let me know if you want to look at anything around here. Uh, okay, um, but can I leave my resume? Oh, we're not hiring, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you need help, okay? Okay. I can't stand folks who talk to people like that. Like, don't talk to me like that. Hey, Mama. Yeah, you still selling Ava? Uh, are you still doing that? Oh, baby, not Avon. Please, don't res Not Avon. No, if you were still watching those twins. Hey, I worked at Philemon's right out of high school, so I know department stores. Oh, no, for sure. Just let me know if you hear anything. Just let me know if any shifts open up. Let me know if anything opens. See, I'm glad they're showing this because... I wish Carmen knew this. Like, your team has a life outside of work, and you're making decisions... Uh, as if this is a one-man show, as if everybody doesn't have something to lose if this all doesn't work out. So it's just, I feel like we're going to get this with each of the characters. Exactly what I did in my last job, so it's perfect. Amazing. Well, let me grab some paperwork for you to fill out, and we'll set up an interview. Do you have references on here? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Do you have your BA? I'm so sorry. They're actually really strict about that here. I know it's super annoying, but BA put some damn tortilla shells. <laughs> like, what? Like, what did she need a BA for? I did this exact job like for 15 years. No, for sure. I'm sorry. Maybe you could try night school. Would definitely help with it. Doing all that and still ain't paying people. Like, I'm not gonna. Why the hell would she go back to school when she's been out all this time? Just hearing something bad makes a big difference. I hate when they just don't say anything back. Then you have the ones that will send you a, a, a email saying that they, you know, they've turned down, you know, your app, your application and all of this. And it's like, I just submitted it. You turned it down in 10 minutes? Okay. Thanks, baby. I got a really good feeling about this interview. I know this is going to be the one. Then uh, you should take that post down. Like See, I don't have to slap the shit out of you because I'm talking to you and you haven't even looked up at me. And it's like false advertising or whatever, you know? Okay. I'll tell them. What else you could tell them? Fuck you. I feel so bad for Tina. I really wanted... Oh, she's crying. I really wanted her to get that job, or at least it to be a legit job. Oh, is she gonna be late to the restaurant, or... This is a flashback episode. This is how she ended. Wait. Oh, this is how she ended up at the restaurant?
She lost her job, a second job that she had that we didn't know she had. Oh, it's nasty. Probabilities like gravity back. And you cannot negotiate with gravity. Booyah. Oh, she's crying. I thought it was nasty. I was like, oh my God, is it that bad? <laughs> so Richie said something. You can't tell me Fax doesn't look like the camera guy from Scream. Yeah, you gotta tell her. She gotta stop crying. Do I gotta say She's gonna scare all the regulars. Well, you, you guys are talking really loud behind her. Um, well, don't you hate that when you crying in public? You gotta stop your crying. You're that bad. <laughs> like, I'm good. No, like, you're I'm not, not good. You're, you're crying. I don't think I was really crying. <laughs> No, you look like you were really crying to me. Yeah, but not like sobbing. Not sobbing? All right, I'll give you that. You weren't sobbing, but. I love him. Kind of. Bad day, huh? Worst. You? Um. I don't know. I'd say, like, now can I go first? Please. Yeah? Yeah. All right. No. Sit. Sit. Yeah? Yeah. We got this toilet back there that, like, I mean, the thing's possessed. It just... <laughs> this ain't damn toilet. Like, it's, like, equal parts depressing and disgusting, and, like, all the floor around it is totally rotting, so that's, like... Uh, delivery company, delivery guy, changed our terms. We went from a net 45 to a net 33. Um, we just, we don't have enough people yeah. working here. So the people that are here just kind of getting shitty towards each other. Mm. Busy number four. Uh, I can't remember the last time I went to bed, you know? Uh, one, yeah. my landlord raised our rent by like a lot, which okay. is problematic. Two, my husband has been waiting for a promotion for years. That's probably not coming. Uh, three, I lost my job. Four, I've been applying for every job in this city. Hell, it sounds like hell. Oh, poor Tina. Yeah. Five, uh, <laughs> number six. I also can't remember the last time I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we tried, right? Yeah. Check that out. Oh, this Carm's dish. So you was proud of him. It's a family business. Yeah. Yeah, my my old man he opened it. Yeah. You know. Oh, okay. I'm thinking this was his restaurant that he started. He took one look and he split. You know, he hightailed it, ran for the hills, never came back. Mm. They'll do that. Look. You really got your double cross. I don't need to be inspired. I don't need to be impassioned. I don't need to. Folks just want to make their damn money. Save the world. So they can survive. You know? Just. I just want to feed my kid. True. Amen. <laughs> Amen, man. I just, give me a routine. I'm in. Listen, you, you, you might totally throw that fucking sandwich in my face and, 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 and like, have at it, all right? Because I'm just going to say, full disclosure, this place, like, this fucking place, it sucks. 
It's like this sometimes. Uh, what are you asking me? I need a new line cook. Yeah? Yeah. What the fuck am I gonna do with a resume? I don't wanna, I'll go clean the toilet with the fucking resume. I don't need a resume. I talk to you. Oh, what? Yeah. what? You know? What do you think? Dude, I fucking heard you. Shut the. See, she's already in her onboarding process, so she's already basically hired. So now she's getting to see what her job is gonna be like. What did you say? Let me go deal with this motherfucker. All right. Uh, look, thank you. I think about it. All right. Tina Marrero, by the way. Hey, Michael yeah. Barzato. Okay. And uh, thank. I, I oh. appreciate it. They both needed that talk. Okay, I will. Think about it. I'm right in there. All right, Dude, go. honestly, like, why am I going to... Good thing she missed that bus. Fucking use an indoor board. I only have... That's your one. <laughs> Three employees. She looks so happy. I'm happy for her. Cause that last job was on some bullshit. They didn't have to do that to her. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and forward to the next episode and then we'll pause and talk about uh, this episode here. All right. So that was episode six, Napkins. Um, not really sure why they went with that title, but um, this was very Tina focused, and I'm glad we got to see. Uh, into Tina's life, I, if for the longest, almost through more than half of that episode, I thought we were looking at um, current times. I thought maybe she had a second job to the bear because she has been kind of like spaced out and like her mind is occupied this season. So I thought maybe that was it. Maybe she had a second job that she was trying to balance. Um, and then she lost that job. But no, this talks about how she ended up at the bear. And so... Uh, we get to see Mikey. Uh, we haven't seen too much of him. We mostly see him through flashback. Uh, but I'm glad to see him this episode. I'm glad to see that connection between him and Tina. I would love to see uh, his relationship between him and all the other people in the restaurant. Because it seems like they really cared about Mikey. And so, and now I understand why Tina loved him so much. You know, he gave her, uh, a, you know a chance he he hired her in, in in a time where she was at her her lowest and so um so yeah I, at first i thought she was gonna be leaving the bear and i should have known this was a flashback because she never at one at, at no point reported to the restaurant i was like so does tina not work every day or like i, I should have known it was a flashback but um but yeah, I thought that was a really good episode. And so now this episode is called Legacy. And I'm wondering, is it going to be in the same uh, format? Because it talks about Sydney getting uh, opportunity. I'm wondering if this is going to be... Well, we kind of saw her come in. And... Apply back in season one. So I don't think they would do that unless... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um... It's been a lot of this season has been a lot between like the current time and back and forth and like in the flashbacks and then going back and forth. Um, but yeah, let's see how let's see what happens in episode seven. Again, this is legacy. And again, this is the restaurant is out of sea phones and uh Sydney takes a new job. It no machine. we got to see their relationship in the present time because a lot of people didn't care for her character and i was kind of one of them
probably hasn't had a deep connection like that in a while. Yeah, everybody got something going on. Everybody got a lot on their mind. Yeah, her new apartment. So she's moved in. See, I knew he was going to pop back up. Okay, Uncle Gary. Nice to meet him. Pretty shocking. Yeah, I bet. I mean, she's done. Done. Like, done. Wow. Honestly, respect. Oh. thing that could have happened how i probably would have been there forever if she didn't quit yeah you know? i mean i is what i want to talk to you about okay i'm gonna open up my own place that's great yeah got the backers of ever but i'm not you know i want to start cleaning I don't not him getting ready to ask her to join his restaurant is he intimidated by Carmi? I want to run it, and I want to hire a CDC. Somebody who can come in, build a team, lead it. Uh, d do you mean me? I mean you. Well, this is present day, so we, <laughs> there's a possible chance Sydney could leave. It's like the vibe of the, that you're thinking of? Or? Whatever you want it to be. Whatever I want it to be. Everything. Everything that karmic contract probably does not have. Um, here's a trick, though. I'd want to move quickly. And again, I, I don't want this to be, you know, some sort of gross poaching. I'd want to talk to Carmi, But first, I wanted to see if this is something you would even remotely consider. <sighs> oh, a lot to consider. She just got a new apartment and... She's going to have to be careful whatever she considers because, I mean, she just got her own place. Rent is not cheap. The cost of living is going up. And I know right now things look shaky with Carmi just because there's a lot going on with that. Which is why I don't think that she should have been at the table renegotiating the, the loan that they had with Uncle because they had nothing to do with her. Um, that's a family business. And I wouldn't, you don't get in family business. And so... This may be the best thing for her, but I, I don't know about his intentions. So. Hey, morning, Chef. Yep. You know these people? Yeah. He seems to be a little That's calmer so today. Fresh. Maybe the withdrawals okay. are trying to calm me down Imagine. a little bit. Yeah, the Yeah, but also, like, um, who they would work with, you know, and what they would go on to do. Like, um, something would, would start somewhere, and then, uh, people would take that thing, and, and they would take it somewhere else. So, all these... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Morning, Chef. Hey. Hey. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. What the hell did why she dressed like Sailor Moon? Uh, what were you guys talking about? Legacy. You think about it? Uh, I think about getting through Wednesday. Hopefully, she's does she does say something to Carmi and not let Shapiro say something because I think that's gonna be a slap in the face and I don't know. He's her current boss. I think that's the appropriate order to do that. But then again, she doesn't owe Carmi anything. But. What about you? I think I would want my legacy to be... 
kept my chin up. I listened to learn. I did honest work. I'm gonna be around. They have been my favorite three. Carmi has slipped off just because he's been pissing me off with some of the things he's done, but they've been my old my OG three characters that I love. Wrapped around the fucking sandwich, sandwich in the bag, bag to the fucking. This looks like another flashback. Cause these two people aren't there. See how cool that shit is? It's beautiful. Wait, One is more. it? Gorgeous, that's the case. Gorgeous. What about silverware? Fuck silverware. Yeah, fuck silverware. We gotta go outside, pick it up. Oh no, this is current time. Cause they supposed to be helping him out. Slide that shit open, let's rock. What the fuck is C-Folds? I get two hot smokes, we want to do Absolutely, buddy. Smell good up in here. Ooh, it's <laughs> I really do wish you put some gloves on, though. Get three sweet hot and two hot. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate that immensely. Yeah, see, they, they making the money. Wouldn't nothing wrong with the beef. They just need a better restaurant, like, interior-wise. Well, he happy back there. He got a system going. Hey, give me a hand. Yeah. I was just saying, let's go over here. Fucking do something. Yeah. But I just wanted to... <laughs> What's up? Like, you... You're sober, right? Like you, what? You, no, like like you. I'm I'm asking because like the baseball shit. I gotta I I, oh. I gotta ask you about the yeah, baseball yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's. I wanted to bulk up. You're you playing know, 150 games. I a wanted season. to bulk up, man. Yeah. It's like, and the nutrition guy said that um, you know, he told me like this shit is healthy. It's not gonna show up as a steroid, and you know. No shit. I took a piss test and. It showed up in the piss. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, that's how he ended up at the bear, I guess. I didn't play any better. I didn't feel any stronger. Right. I didn't, right. I, I right. didn't like, fucking bulk up, so I don't even think this shit worked, bro. It was like, so it was for fucking nothing. It was for nothing, bro. All for nothing. God, bro. man. You know? Life's journeys, man. That's fucking crazy. The shit that people go through and how they end up where they are. <sighs> now, everybody's thinking about their journey and their legacy. I think that's normal, though. We all want to be okay at the end of it all. And life is hard as shit. And time don't wait for nobody. So whatever you're going to do, go ahead and do it now. Sugar! Where you been, just girl? fucking call. It's like a grand wasted. Uh, two grand. Two grand. I just accepted the fact that I'll never be comfortable again. You got that S pillow thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I think I probably use that more than two. Yeah. <laughs> Those things are comfortable, though. House ready? Yeah. It's been ready. Where were you guys when Tiff went into labor? Again. Oh no, fuck Good. that pizza. Fuck this guys. <laughs> now we were going to this um Thai place that we love loved. And um literally like <laughs> but Honestly, it was pretty calm, you know. We just kicked it in the uh, hospital room, watched TV, chilled. I feel bad for Richie. I know he wants his family to be back together. That's my key. We had to drop some shit off. And it seemed like she wanted to get back with him, but... Sorry. Oh. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> mm, all good here? Great day. Felt like it. Seem busy? <laughs> like the old days. Mm. He got a little routine going, baby. Oh. So what time will you land? Okay. Yeah, I should be home by 10. Okay. If 
feels like an eternity. Yeah. Then it's gonna be an instant. Yeah? Yeah. Girl, I was in labor with Louis like forever. Like all day, just wait. I wonder when her water gonna break. I wonder is it gonna break at the end of this episode or maybe season finale? Hopefully not what um what? About everything. Ted yeah, is gone we're gonna though. Be the mother. Can we afford this? Is it gonna be healthy? Can we handle it? I'll be right outside if you need anything. Thanks, T. Oh, shit, Nat. Um, we're short on seafoals. Oh, got you. Lord have mercy. Oh, hell no, dude. Those, those. Baby, you should have asked somebody at the store to help you with that. You are too pregnant. Or move the damn thing closer. Is ex wedding coming up soon? I wonder what got him so flustered right now. Is it just him wanting his family back together or him not being happy at the restaurant? Maybe a combination of those things. Uh, what you doing? Uh, I'm just trying to get ahead on the menu for tomorrow. Oh, nice. Where you at? Uh, pasta course. And serve it with the cherry. No, I think the apricot's working well. Are you even a fucking like? Uh, okay, never mind. I thought, I thought he was off of that shit, but n no, he's not. This old world starts getting me down, and people are just. And then he's. I mean, he doesn't know what's going on, but he's not helping his case. It slowly pushes Sydney out the door, and then the fact that the other guy told her that it can be. However, she wants it to be. And we all know Sydney is low key impatient and impulsive. So that sounds like her dream. Like it terrifies her, but it also excites her at the same time. It's peaceful as can be. Oh. 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 And there's the world below. Did her water break or she's in pain? Well, it looks like she's winning to labor. I didn't, she looked like she was hurt. I didn't think the water breaking hurts. Uh, hopefully nothing's wrong with her. But um, I feel like the episode went by really quick. Um, but yeah, Sydney still hasn't signed the paperwork. Um, and now she's been offered this other opportunity to join this other guy, Shapiro, um, who in my head, I feel like he... Is jealous of Carmi and, and, and wants to take what Carmi has. Maybe that's just me, uh, being a little bit of pe you know being petty. But I I still stand ten toes ten toes down on my statement that I don't feel like Sydney should have got involved in this whole family business. And so now they're pressuring her to sign the contract. And now she's at that point where she doesn't know if she wants to sign the contract, which she's gonna have to do something because. At this point, would they even still allow her to work there if she didn't want to sign the contract? So I, there's a possibility of her not even having income at all if she doesn't sign the contract. Um, and then this other guy, yes, he seems to be a little bit more organized. The environment may be, you know, a lot better than what's at the bear, but he's starting over from scratch, though. And that takes time. And so, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Sugar, I hope she's okay. I know. She, I hope she's not hurt. Um, hopefully, that was just her water breaking. But then again, it, that still kind of sucks because she's out by herself. And if, they, if they're about to get the restaurant started, then most likely they won't hear her phone call if she calls. Um, and then Ted is out of town. So, wouldn't it be crazy if she's left 
with no other choice but to call her mom. That would be wild. That would be absolutely wild. Because I think the next episode, the description is it says that she finds support in a in an unlikely place, or I guess from someone that we wouldn't expect. So it would be crazy if it's her mom. I was thinking it was Richie because they was having a moment. But feel right. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right?